Good afternoon. Welcome to Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. My name is Mr. Kylie. This is the Junior Adult Advanced class. That is the Reds and Red Black Belts. Okay, potentially some of the Junior Black Belts as well training along with us. I appreciate that. Uh, today is April 14th. So 4-14 is a Tuesday. So this is your first advanced class of the day. The goal today is to get through the entirety of Samurai Set. We got about 95% done last, last week, last time we were here. So we're going to finish off that very last portion of the form today. Um, we're going to work on your kicking combat combinations because it is kicking week and kind of go through how to do each kick and then more importantly how to then chain them together okay so it's a little more functional for you so without further ado feet together bow very good let's shake our arms out up and down hopefully you guys have been stretching over the weekend good roll them in a circle talked about our stretching challenge last week doing that every single day and not just for like a minute doing it for sev you know, several minutes trying to create a habit a good idea would be to have another activity that you're doing while you're that you can be seated or kind of positioned and, and static while you're doing your stretches. Take your legs out, whether that's reading or playing your Game Boy or Nintendo Switch or any other you know video game console that you can sit down with. I would say while you're eating, but that might be dangerous. Maybe don't do that one. Reading a book's a wonderful thing to do while stretching. Bend your left knee. And again, the purpose of this stretch, of your, like your Spider-Man stretch, isn't just to like have this knee bend and sit down real low. Okay, it's more so to get a stretch on the inside of your legs. You're really trying to lean into what you're doing. If you're, if you're a hard time balancing like this, you can straighten this leg a little bit more. You can also go ahead and just put your knee down on the ground so you can really lean into what's going on and feel the inside of your leg loosen up a little bit. That is the challenge. Other side. It also helps you practice blading your foot like you would for a sidekick. Stretching out the, the muscles and the tendons and ligaments in the ankle, getting them a little bit loosened up so you can do that properly. Sit all the way down, heels, toes touching. This is, there you go. I'm smacking the microphone. Legs down, leg out, stretch down. Switch sides. Make sure again, every time you lean into your stretch, you're breathing out into it, expelling your breath. Both legs in the front. Another goal we're working on, any kind of frontal stretch. Anytime you're leaning down towards your feet, instead of rounding at the back and arching your back, instead you're here and you're leaning, you're focusing more on feeling your body pull straight forward Good, and you're trying to just feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Again, if this ends up in you being able to touch your toes, that's good. But if you're touching your toes, if that's the goal, then you're not going to stretch properly in order to achieve that goal. So instead, just your goal is to lean your body forward until you feel it tight behind your legs. If that ends up in you touching your toes, cool. If not, it's fine. And then from here, sit back up, walk your legs out just a little bit. Lean down, still try to grab your feet if you can, or grab towards the middle. Back up, step out a little wider. And again, you're trying to focus on pushing your hips forward. So you're not doing this situation. Your body's up tall, and you're leaning over, almost like a tower falling down. I'm going to come back up, legs out a little bit wider. You're starting to get towards like the max of your split at this point, wherever yours is. Again, the goal is to stretch as best you can for a good calendar month. That means for at least 30 days. Okay, if not more is the goal. And again, we're not at the end of the 30 days, at the end of the month, I don't want us to stop stretching. The goal is to build the habit, which means continue it once we're done with this. This is just the point of this is to help us build a habit. Okay, not to see if you can get your full splits in 30 days. We're not in a race. Your goal is to see how much you can improve in 30 days. And so the biggest goal is to see that by doing this every single day, how much more of a split can you have? How much closer can you get to it? Okay, not necessarily can you do a split or not? Okay, because if so, if that's what your goal is, it's just, just to get that split, that's a good goal to have. But then if, we, if you improve by a large margin, 
but still don't reach that goal, you're going to feel like you failed. When again, you actually have to make sure that your goal is appropriate. In this case, it's we're focusing on improvement. Okay, how much wider can your legs go after that month? If that's your focus, then you will see the improvement you're looking for. If that focus ends up in you getting a full split, great. Okay, but if it gets you a lot closer than you were, that's still really good. Back in. Make sure you're not going downwards. You're kind of you're pushing your body over the edge. You're leaning your body forward. Your hands are forward. There's weight on your hands. Good. If somebody's doing this with you and they're kind of sitting in front of you and they have your hands and they're, they're leaning backwards and they're pulling you forwards, okay, make sure that as they do that, that doesn't cause you to lean away. You have to push towards them just as much as they're pulling you. Have your legs, pull them in. Check it out. One last stretch. Pull this leg across. Pull this knee in. Good. And you're trying to pull this knee to you. Well, you're trying to pull your foot to you, pull yourself to your foot as you're pushing that knee down. Good. So we stretch the inside of our legs with our full splits. Okay, this stretch stretches out the outside of your hips. So you're getting everything loosened up from inside to outside. Okay, let's go all the way up. Very good, nice and loose. Go ahead, 10 jumping jacks, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start on samurai set. Okay, we're going to really put some time and effort into the part that we got to last time and really sharpening up the very end of your form. And then we're going to work backwards and start filling in the part that you already know. We've really put a lot of time and effort into that first half. And so I want to make sure that, okay, we, we really focus the second half right now. And then we'll work on piecing those things together as the class goes along. Okay, so we're going to start your form. Okay, you, kind of, you have to kind of use the fast forward button. Okay, we're going to get to where. We just did the step axe kick and then step forward. We just did one, two, three here. And now we're going to step back, chop, block, punch. Okay. So that's where we are right now. Okay. So step back with your right foot, hands up. So this, this is that hands open up. It's a backhand knife hand chop like this as your left hand is covering your chin. So my left hand covers my face, my right hand chops. And then from there, I pull that hand back to my chin. And then my left hand does the chop here chops them in the neck. And then from there, uh, they punch again. So I take my hand and I push down. Their punch is coming, so I'm just pushing their punch out of the way. I'm parrying it as I then punch over the top. Okay, so it's a chop, right hand underneath left hand, block with the knife hand, and then punch. And so it's an inverted punch. Okay, from here, we're going to back leg round kick with the right leg. And then your left leg's in, in charge of these four corners wheel kicks. Okay, and the four corners are the right side of the room, wherever you are, the back of the room, wherever you are, the left side of the room, and then the front of the room, where the camera is. Okay, so you kick to the right, to the back, to the left, to the front. Good, if you're used to reading a clock, like a regular clock, good, then it's going to go 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then noon or midnight, whichever one. Okay, and so from here, we're going to turn over our left shoulder, swing our left leg towards the target, Good, and then put it in the back. So I swing, I peek over my shoulder, I swing my left leg, I put it in the back. So right foot's in the front, left foot's in the back. And again, now we're going to the back of the room, still turning to the left, still kicking with your left foot. Good. And then now going to the right side of the room, turn. Notice how I lean onto that right foot so my left leg can stay flat. Good. Put it back behind me, and last time, you're going to kick to the front of the room where the camera is, where I am. So you take that right foot and you pivot it towards where you're going, get your body in alignment, look over your shoulder, good. Notice how I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm not turning my whole body yet, okay, we'll get to that later. But it's look over the shoulder, swing the leg, and then turn, set it down. That part's real tricky. Just in there, set it down, left foot in the front, so your left knee is up. Punch right hand, punch left hand. Good. Okay, from there, you're going to take that right hand. It's going to go around the back of your head, and then you chop towards the camera. Very good. And then I punch left hand, punch right hand. Very good. Stand up. Step back with your right. High block with your left hand. Chop with the right hand. 
back leg front, set it down in the front. That is your step into your flying front kick. Set your right leg down, cross your left foot behind, like you did earlier in the form. Cross up, pull down. Okay, this part is really tricky, okay, when you're first learning it. So just watch, this is the last part of your form. Just kind of watch what's going on. Good, you're here. I have my right foot's very heavy. My left foot is on the ball of my foot. It's very light, okay? I'm on the heel of my right foot and the ball of my left foot. All I'm going to do is spin, okay? The same way your body spun for the wheel kicks, that same direction towards the left. Okay, but you're going to spin and face that direction. Watch. Hello. Now we're going this way. Okay, now my left foot is going to step out like I'm walking into a jungle stance. Okay, now from here, so I'm in a jungle stance going to the right side of the room. Okay, my right hand is going to punch away like, to the back of the room. So my body's going this way, my right hand punches away. So if you're looking, okay, if you're looking in, at the camera, the camera's at the front of the room, your body you kind of almost are looking over your shoulder like this. So it's kind of a goofy position because this is what you're probably doing. You're probably looking at me over your shoulder like this while your body's going this way, while you're punching completely behind you. Again, so if you're sitting in your room or in a room, the camera is to your left, to the front of you, your body's going this way, and you're punching on the complete opposite way the camera was. Okay, so now we're going to keep going this direction. Okay, we're going to take our right foot, we're going to lift it up. I'm going to turn and put my left knee on the ground. Okay, so left hand and punch to the back of the room. Okay, so again, let's, let's reset all of that. So you're going to go. We just did high block chop. So we're going front kick, flying front kick, turn to the left, put your right foot very heavy on the ground. Your left foot sneaks behind very lightly. So I'm basically on one leg. Then I pull down. Okay, you take and you spin over your left shoulder, kind of like the wheel kicks. My left foot steps forward. My right hand punches completely behind me. Again, so if you're looking in the camera, your right hand should be going the opposite direction. Wherever the camera is, whatever part of the room, your punch is going the opposite way, to the back. I'm going to keep punching the back of the room. I'm going to pick up my back leg, my straight leg. Good. I'm going to turn my body, good, towards the back of the room, and then drop down to the left. So my left knee is down, my right knee is up. I punch my left hand to the back of the room. Okay, now from here, you're going to stand up. You're going to take your right leg. You're going to kind of go back the way you came, around to the back wall, and then around this way. Watch. Spin. I spin on my left foot. My right hand goes around my head. The same exact movement you did earlier. We did punch, punch, circle, chop. It's the same chop. Good. And then my other hand does the same thing. Chop. Good. And then from there, my right hand makes a fist. My left hand stays a knife hand. Samurai, set. So that last chunk of the form is probably the trickiest part to learn. You'll get it, you'll do it really strong, but when you're learning it, there's so many direction changes, it can be very confusing. So if you're real confused right now, that means you're doing great. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So we're gonna do that part one more time, and then we're gonna go back and start the form from the beginning and try to get all the way through it the best we can, all right? So stay with me. Okay, we just did the last wheel kick. Okay, so you drop down, left knees up. After that last wheel kick, punch right hand, punch left hand. Okay, your right hand okay, is going to circle your head and chop towards me. So it circles and it chops. So we're all going towards the camera. Punch left hand, punch right hand. Now, cool thing to kind of think about right now, think about how your body's in a position. Your body's down on one knee, going to the side, punching beside you. Okay, you'll feel this again later when we do that very ending, confusing part of your form. So it's the punch and then boom, your body sideways, punching to the side, of your, the inside of your body. Remember that feeling when we do it later. Okay, from there, stand up, step back with your right foot, high block with the left hand, chop with the right hand. Both hands come up as you front kick. Set it in the front, lift up the left, kick with the right, flying front kick. Set it down, heavy on one foot, light on the left foot. Cross, double block your legs. Turn to the left, kind of like the wheel kicks, as you step out with your left foot. As your right hand punches the back wall. So again, whatever room you're practicing in, wherever the camera or the TV is, you're punching the opposite direction. You're punching to the back. Okay, your body's going to the left, to the right, technically. Good, now from here, I pick up my right leg. Another way to think about this movement, it might be easier to learn it this way. You take your whole body and turn it completely to the back of the room. You take your right leg, you step back with it, 
towards the front of the room, I take my body and I turn to the left side of the room and I drop down on my knee. So it's the same thing we just did, just breaking it down into multiple steps. Then I punch my left hand the opposite direction the camera was. Very good. And then from there, I take, I take my leg that's on the knee, I stand up with it, and then I pull that leg over. So I'm now facing the front of the room again. My right hand does that circular chop. My left hand does it as well. And then I do the ending of the form. All right. And again, that part, if that part doesn't make sense, that's okay. If it does, great. If not, don't dwell too much on that right now. Okay, let's focus on just getting all the form down as much as we can. All right, so we're gonna start from the beginning and try to get all the way through it the best we can. Ready? And Samurai set. Bow, present, martial arts, America, Samurai set, step back, hands up, regular guard stance. And just like the beginning of earth form, back fist, key my side, punch, looping back fist, spinning back fist, punch, back leg round kick. So far so good. Double switch of the legs. One, two. Back leg, left leg. Does that axe kick. Set it behind you. Grab with the right hand. Turn. Drop down punch. Turn. High block punch. Stand up. Double switch. One, two. And then step with the right foot so I can kick with the left foot. One. Swing it. Drop it. Set in front this time. And then you're also going to step forward and turn around. Okay. Your left foot's in the front. Back fist with the left hand. This, at this point, you're going completely away from the front of the room. So your back is probably to me. Punch with your right hand. Turn and back leg round kick. Set it down. This is the part I was talking about earlier. Set your left foot slightly behind your other foot. Heavy on the right. Light on the left. X. Pull down, block your legs. From there, your right foot that's heavy is going to step back to a guard stance. Okay, and then another way to think about this part, okay, you're here, when you sneak this foot behind it, kind of go ahead and get this foot almost pivoted. See how my heel's going to you guys, so my toes are going this way? So what that tells me is if I do that, go ahead and I get my body going and start to turn, then now I know what leg steps back. Chop, block, punch. Back leg round kick with your right foot. So I can do those four wheel kicks now. So again, the first step to doing those wheel kicks properly is getting your right leg, getting that leg you're going to lean on, point that heel where you're going, which is the right side of the room. Turn over your left shoulder. Good. Get your eyes looking where you're going as you swing your left leg. Notice how I'm leaning away from it. It's more of a defensive kick. So you do want to have a little bit of a lean back to you to balance your body out. So now you're kicking to the back of the room. I point my right foot where I'm going. I turn over my left shoulder, I swing, I set it down behind me. Now I'm going to the left side of the room, good, or nine o'clock. I turn my right foot, I lean, I swing, I set it down behind me. This part's kind of tricky because I have to almost overspin. I pivot my right foot to the front of the room where I started, turn over my left shoulder, swing, and then from here I have to keep, ooh, I have to not fall down. Good. Once you finish that wheel, you have to then pivot your foot and point your toes that way. This is what I mean. Watch. So I have to, I'm here, swing, watch this foot, turn, drop. So a little bit extra rotation. Punch right, punch left. Right hand does that circular chop like in the end of the form. Punch left, punch right. Body's kind of turned. Pull back, high block chop, back leg front. Switch to flying front, pull, heavy on the right, light on the back, on the left foot. Turn, step out and punch. So you kind of have to just remind yourself, whatever leg steps out, the other hand punches. And you're going to the complete back side of the room. So wherever your form started, you're going the opposite direction. Then I keep going to the back, and then I keep my eyes towards the back of the room. I'm punching someone. So I punch them in the, in the, in the nose, boop. And from there, I'm going to turn and drop down and punch with my other hand. So it's... Drop. That's what that motion is. So stay towards the back of the room and just turn to the other side. Then I stand up. I take my right foot. It's going to step across as my right hand turns. Chop. Chop. Same right side. That's a lot. That's the whole form. I'm proud of you guys just for getting that far and staying with me. Uh, we will have time to break it down and get it a little bit stronger as we go along. So that part's totally okay. Again, we're not yet to the part where you guys are doing the entire form by yourself. Okay, at this point, I'm just trying to expose it to you. I'm trying to show you the form as many times as I can so that it slowly starts to make more sense. 
Okay, slowly start. Your body just does the motions enough, okay, and the combinations enough for the, for them to kind of start understanding what's going on. Okay, I, I understand as you're going along, especially if you're a brand new red belt. Okay, intermediate forms and advanced forms they look kind of similar, but advanced forms have a lot of little things going on in them that you didn't do in the intermediate forms. A lot of smaller, faster combinations and a lot more changing of directions. This form itself changes directions like eight times. So there's a lot of little things going on. So it's okay if it's not transferring right away. It's okay if you're not getting it right away. We're not, we're, we're six weeks in, okay? We're about the halfway point. We're, we're still in the phase of, if I say, show me a wheel kick, you can start to show me a wheel kick, okay? If I say, follow along with my hands and do this combination, you can follow along and do it. You may can't do it by yourself yet, but that's fine. If you can look at it and listen to it and then try to start figuring out what we're doing, that's where I need you right now. Okay, so now we're gonna work on your kicking combination, which is your wheel kick into your step wheel kick into what's called your double jump front kick. So I'm gonna show you wheel to step wheel and then we're gonna break down that double jump front kick, which is a, a crowd favorite from everyone, okay? So again, just to kind of see your, your kick, it's going to be good wheel, step wheel, double jump front. So breaking that down, put your right leg behind you. Okay, you're gonna do wheel kick first, okay, which is the kick you did in your form. In your form, you use your left leg, but now we're using our right leg. Okay, so you're gonna turn away from the camera. Okay, turn your back to the camera. Look back around so you can see the camera. Take your right foot, point your foot at me, and then put it back behind you. Okay, now you're gonna then follow that up with a step wheel kick, which means you're going to step, turn, kind of like a tornado kick. Whoa. Look over your shoulder, so now your left foot, just like in the form, does the wheel kick. Put it back behind you. And then you would explode up into the double jump front kick. Let's do the wheel into step wheel one more time. Then we'll break down just the double jump front to really focus on that, okay? So from right where you are, it starts with turning away from the camera, turn away from where you're going, because it's, it's a wheel kick to start. So it's a defensive movement. So turn and lean and bend that right leg and then your left heel is pointing at me. Keep it there while you push off that right leg and swing it and then turn and bring it back. And then from there, spin, step wheel, put it back behind you. So now we're on to what's called the double jump front kick. Okay, in case I haven't taught you guys this, in case you haven't learned this yet, okay, we're gonna break this down into steps. Okay, you know a pop-up front kick because you've already tested on it. A pop-up front kick is the kick in fire form where you jump, and you kick with one foot. You jump off both feet and kick with one. Okay, this is a double jump front, so you jump off both feet and kick with both. Okay, so that's the only difference. It's two pop-up front kicks at the same time. So that's the same mechanics, the same motion and everything. Same chamber, but instead of kicking with one and pulling this one in, you just kick with both. Okay, so let's break that down like we're learning a pop-up front kick. Put one foot behind you. You bring your feet together. Good. And I say together, I mean just underneath yourself. They don't have to be all the way together. They can just be underneath your shoulders is fine. You bend your knees. Make sure your knees go towards the outside or forwards. Just, if you notice that when you bend your knees, this is happening and they're going to the middle, make them either go straight forwards or at least a little bit to the outside. I just don't want them to the inside. Your knees don't like that. So you bend down. Your arms come down. And for right now, just jump and pull your hands up. And just jump as high as you can. Don't even worry about the kick. Just jump. Okay? So one time, let's get that, that rhythm right. Step, drop, jump. Okay, this time step, drop, jump, and just start pulling your knees up. Pull, or, or think of it two ways. Either pull your heels to your bottom, good, or pull your knees up to your chest. Both work right now. Okay, so from here I want, there. Okay, pull your knees up. Ready? One more time. And heels come to your bottom, knees come to your chest. There. Okay, now, with your knees up, all I want you to do, okay, it, the, the key to making this kick work is to actually push your head forward a little bit to balance yourself. It's almost like we're doing that stretch where you touch your toes. We're basically doing that in the air. So you have to kind of lean your body forward to balance your body out. Because if I kick both feet really strong forwards and my head is up, that's when you lean backwards and lose your balance. So instead, you actually kind of poke your head forward a little bit as you're doing this kick. I'll show you from the side. So as you're doing it, watch my head. Your body, not an extreme amount, but just enough to balance yourself out, okay? So all I want you to do is focus on the flick of your legs. When you jump, don't try to do like two gigantically high front kicks, just 
flick your legs, not the tops of your feet. Still the balls of your feet, you're just flicking. You can start low, and the more you do it comfortably and confidently, the higher it will start to go. So it's still just, it's just that motion. Lift, flick, lift, flick. And you start to get that with both legs. Okay, one more time. We're gonna step, drop, jump, lift, and flick. Doesn't matter about the height, just try to get the rhythm of the kick and try to get all the motions to tie together. Last time, ready? And go. Good. Now last time, try to do a little higher than last time. Ready? Go. Okay, good work. Work on that a little bit. Don't get too stuck on that one. If you get the wheel kick and the step wheel, the one, the double jump front kick will come with time. It's kind of, a, it's, it's a really weird kick when you're first learning it. So if you didn't get it, if it doesn't feel comfortable, that's okay. Again, don't dwell on it. Okay, focus right now on what we're working on, which is the majority of the form, and then getting comfortable with working both sides of your wheel kick and step wheel kick. If you can get there and start to get that a little bit more on your own while you're still stretching every day, I'm a very happy camper. Okay, now we worked on challenges this week. Uh, the, the champion's challenge for this week, for kicking week, work each of your individual form kicks, wheel, step wheel, double jump front, do each leg five times. Of course, your double jump front kick, you can't do each leg because you're doing both legs, so just do that kick itself five times. And then your wheel step wheel. The second challenge, which is my favorite of all of them, is the kicking combo challenge. So taking three kicks that you've learned any three or any three that you, or any kick that you've taught yourself as you saw it on a video game or a TV show or a movie or something. Okay. And you take three or more kicks and you combo them together. Kind of like we started working a combo just now with our wheel and step wheel. And so you work those three or more kicks into a combination, get creative. Okay. And think of kicks. It's been a while since you've done whether they're side kicks or axe kick or spin kick. You have a lot of options. Okay. Get creative. At least three kicks. It can be more than three, but at least three. And the last one is popping bubbles with your kicks. So you or somebody else blows bubbles into the the air and then before the bubbles at the ground are pop in the air you pop them with your foot by kicking them okay it's a, it's a lot harder than it looks okay but it's a lot more fun too uh if you have any questions on that let me know other than that feet together you guys do have sparring coming up at four if you'd like to kind of take a break and come back for that that would be great and bow you are dismissed